Before we get started, I just wanted to say welcome back to my returning subscribers. Your support makes such a difference. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe also and join my community. And as always, if there's a topic you'd like to see me cover, just let me know. So let's talk twins. YouTube is full of famous twins. The Dolan twins. The DiMartino twins. The Martinez twins. The Dobre twins. The fame doesn't even stop at identicals. A lot of sibling lookalikes have garnered YouTube fame as well. The D'Amelio sisters. The Paul brothers. The Lopez brothers. You get the idea. Our culture is both fascinated and confused by twins. The pendulum swings between finding them attractive or terrifying. But regardless, we love to pay attention to twins. The Stokes twins are a particular set of twins that have been drawing some negative media attention lately. In case you're lucky enough to not have heard of them, the Stokes twins are known for their YouTube channel, which consists mostly of pranks and other challenges. They also have a large following on TikTok. They have been chasing fame since 2017. However, it seems their bank robbing prank may have finally caught up with them and they could be facing jail time. But we're not talking about the Stokes twins today. We're going to be talking about the lesser known side of twindom. Twin weddings. I watch way too much TV and I'm online all the time, so I consider myself fairly in the know about odd or obscure things. Yet somehow twin weddings completely escaped me. This isn't even just twins getting married. It's not just fraternal twins. Identical twins marrying other identical twins is a thing I had no idea existed. It all started when I saw a People magazine article about the Salyers twins. They are identical twin brothers that married identical twin sisters in a double wedding. They were married by identical twin ministers. The brides wore identical wedding dresses and the grooms wore matching tuxes. They shared a honeymoon. They even lived together. Their wedding was featured on TLC, and they are back in the spotlight again as both couples are expecting. But here's an even better twist to their story. They met in Twinsburg, Ohio at the annual twin convention. When I shared the story with my family, my mom told me she'd heard of other people doing the exact same thing. That sent me on a deep dive that I'm going to share with you now because I feel like we need a little break from some of the heavier content. I actually grew up with a few sets of identical twins, and from what I remember, they always emphasized being different from each other. I don't remember any of them ever dressing alike, and they all seemed to want their own identity. They had different interests and hated when people would get them confused. They sometimes even had completely different social circles. So in my ignorance, identical twins marrying identical twins was a possibility I had never even considered. I have to admit, the psychology behind it is kind of interesting to think about. Our world has put so much focus on individuality that it's compelling to see something that so completely contradicts that. It's also interesting to think that these twins are so similar that they can find other twins to marry, yet different enough that each has their own partner preference. It can be hard enough to find someone you want to spend the rest of your life with, so the fact that these sets of twins have been able to find each other and find happiness is incredible. So what causes identical twins to marry other identical twins? If I attempt to look at things from the couple's point of view, it's true there's security and comfort in familiarity and sameness. It's why some of us rewatch that same TV show hundreds of times. It's partly why there's jokes about people marrying someone who has a similar personality to their parent. It's also very possible that these twins' identities have become so tied together that to separate would feel like they lost half of themselves. I think this is particularly true in the case of the Low twins. Their mother was unable to care for them at a young age, and the siblings spent a couple months living alone off grocery store credit before reaching out to a local missionary family. The family took in all seven children, and they lived together for some time before their adult daughter adopted the two twin girls and brought them to the U.S., that is a lot of change and separation for any child to go through, so I would expect nothing less than the strong bond they share. They ended up meeting another set of twins at their local church group, which they described as, like, opposites attracting, we balanced each other out perfectly. Not only did they get engaged on the same night, they had a double wedding. Even though they were dressed very similarly, the grooms each had different ties and the brides chose different flowers so the guests could tell them apart. They even shared a cake with two couples on top. Sounds like something directly out of a Hallmark movie. But these are just one of the many identical twin couples I found. The Netta Meyer twins are another set of twins that share an extremely close bond. Like the Sawyers twins, they too met their spouses in Twinsburg at the annual convention. 
The sisters are so close they say they've never spent more than a day apart. They had dual proposals with matching rings, dual weddings, and now 30 years later, they still share a backyard. The sisters even gave birth two hours apart. Craig and Diane Nedemeyer also gave birth to identical twin sons. A fascinating fact about these births is that technically, even though they have different parents, genetically, they are siblings. Some of you may already know this, but for those with questions, here's a quick breakdown. Fraternal twins are born at the same time, but they grow from two separate eggs being fertilized by two separate sperm. Therefore, they don't share DNA. However, identical twins are created from one egg splitting off into two. Therefore, their DNA is also identical. As a result, if you have two moms with identical DNA and two dads with identical DNA, even though there will be slight genetic variations from crossover, the DNA will still be so similar that you wouldn't be able to tell which child came from which set of parents just by a genetic test alone. In my research, I learned there's actually a term for when identical twins marry identical twins. It's called a quaternary marriage, and as of 2011, there were at least 250 on record. Presumably, there's a lot more that haven't been recorded. Through a quick internet search, I found several that have been publicized over the years. My favorite might be the robot couple. They lived in China and owned a restaurant that was open 21 hours a day. No matter when guests visited, the couple was always there. People in town became both confused and concerned about this couple's ability to work so much with so little sleep. They were thus dubbed the robot couple. Only later did the town learn the restaurant was run by two sets of identical twins. To make matters more confusing, they both have sons who look nearly identical as well. Now let's circle back to the couple that originally piqued my curiosity, the Salyers twins. Brittany and Brianna are incredibly bonded and seem to have always imagined marrying twins. They are quoted as saying, even when we were little girls, I can remember being in kindergarten, knowing that this is what we saw for ourselves. They also admit to being completely submersed in twin culture, stating they have always dressed alike and double dated. They see themselves as two halves of a whole. The sisters share they faced a lot of challenges dating singletons, aka non-twins. Thus, it made perfect sense for them to seek brothers who understood this deep bond. Coincidentally, the brothers actually vowed to never get married unless they fell in love with identical twin sisters. So their meeting at the annual twin convention was a serendipitous surprise that led to what they describe as a double fairy tale. So what the heck is Twinsburg? Is the name just a coincidence? Twinsburg actually wasn't always called Twinsburg. It was originally called Millsville. Twins Moses and Aaron Wilcox and the deal they made with the town are the source of the name change. They moved to Millsville from Connecticut in 1819, and they were wealthy enough to buy 4,000 acres of land. They sold small parcels at incredibly low prices to attract new settlers. However, legend has it they hated the town name and considered it boring. To combat this, they offered six acres of land to be dedicated for a school and town square, but only on the condition that the town's name be changed to Twinsburg. Moses and Aaron were very bonded. They ran a business together and lived next to each other. Well, they didn't marry twins. They married sisters and ended up having the same number of kids. Somehow, they were so close, they even died on the same day from the same disease and are currently buried together. Their story of starting the town is what inspired today's annual twin festival. Twinsburg's festival, Twins Days, is an annual celebration of twins that has been occurring since 1976. The first festival was created to celebrate the U.S. Bicentennial, and because of the Wilcox brothers' history, they decided to make this celebration twin-themed. Despite 1976 being the first year of the event, 36 sets of twins showed up. The event has occurred every year since then, drawing in anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 sets of twins at a time. It's the largest twins festival in the world and brings visitors of all ages from all over the globe. Over 77,000 sets of twins have attended in total. The festival is full of matching twins, twin contests, a talent show, a royal court of twins, and a double take parade. Some of the more notable themes over the years are twin stock, groovy in Twinsburg, two player mode, twinsfinity and beyond, twice upon a time, together in Twinsburg, i.e. Noah's Ark, and double vision in Twinsburg. Not only is the festival a source of 5.7 million in revenue for the local economy, it's also the site of many voluntary twin studies. 
While being twin-centric in name, the festival is open to all multiple births. A lot of twins find the festival brings a sense of community and they return year after year, I have to say. It's nice to hear some wholesome news in these crazy times. If any of you are interested in reading more, I'll link some of the articles I found below. So, what do you think about identical twin weddings? What do you think about the festival? Have you heard of it before? Is twins marrying twins a romantic fairy tale or something far too confusing? What do you think about their children being genetic siblings? Feel free to leave any thoughts you have in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you subscribed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.